Lily. Lily, who's this? Oh, this is my dog, Bella. Oh, well, hello, Bella. You know what I say. A good chef is never without friends. Bella seems like a great dog. Oh, she's the best. Well, actually, she just won first place. Well, congratulations, Bella. Looks like a lovely ribbon. Where was the competition? Oh, it was here. Here? Yeah, you just missed it. Well, where are the other dogs? The judges? Oh, I judged. Bella was the only competitor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, coming in with the super chefs, really Dr. to Greg and the rest, living with you, living with a big show says to kill us. On Super Chef's Cookery for Kids, we are going to be making Greek-inspired stuffed bell peppers. I'm Lily. And I'm Dr. Greg. And here are today's ingredients. We have our, of course, bell peppers, potatoes, and garlic. And then, here, we have an onion, celery, and carrots. We will use these ingredients to make a mirepoix, which we will explain later. As for other ingredients, we have oil, salt, pepper, tomato paste, and rice. We have tomato sauce, feta cheese, water, and lastly, raw ground beef. Now stay tuned for more safety tips on that. All right, let's get cooking. A reminder, always have adult supervision when you are cooking. Using the cloth, cut off the top of the bell peppers. Then take out all of the seeds and white flesh on the inside. Later on, we will be putting our other ingredients inside the peppers. That way, you'll have a small, edible bowl. Now we're going to prep the bell peppers for the oven. I'm going to take the oil and drizzle it around. Make sure you get it on the insides as well. There we go. And then I'm going to take the salt and sprinkle it. Excellent work, Lily. The peppers will go in the oven for 15 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. While they're cooking, let's work on our stuffing. Now we will be creating our mirepoix. Finally dice the celery. Next, peel your carrots, separate them into three sections, and then finally dice those as well. We'll finish off with our onions. And don't forget, always use the claw. The mirepoix will be forming the base flavors for our stuffing today. These three ingredients are used together in many French dishes, and I'm sure you'll find them in the base of your favorite soups. Use the bridge to cut the potatoes in half, and then place them on the flat side down. Always use this method when cutting round fruits and vegetables. That way they won't slide or roll away from you. Cut yeah. the potatoes into matchsticks, and then cut the matchsticks into cubes. Smash the garlic, slice it, mince it. Fun fact about garlic, it scares off vampires. Don't got garlic, wooden steak. Don't got wooden steak, wooden spoon. I keep this on me every single day. Now it's time to make our filling. Lily, could you please put a pan on medium heat and add our oil? Now we're gonna wanna saute our carrots, celery, and onions. Our mirepoix the base of our flavors of this dish. Lily, I found this fresh dill and parsley in the garden. I think it would add nicely to the recipe. Next up, you'll add the raw meat and the garlic. Here's a safety tip. Raw meat needs to be cooked all the way through, otherwise it can make you sick. That means, after handling it, you really need to wash your hands. So, have an adult wash the pan for you, while you do just that. Better safe than sorry. Make sure to cook the meat till it is brown throughout. Now add in our tomato paste. Cook that for about a minute. Now onto the tomatoes. Make sure to only add half the can. We'll need the other half later. Lily, I 
quite like feta cheese. Could you please make sure to add some? Maybe about three tablespoons. Save some for later. I think it's about time for a taste test. Quality control. It's really good, but it just needs some more salt and pepper. And last, we'll have our rice and water. Cook that all together for about 10 minutes. We've taken our peppers out of the oven, let them cool, and place them on a bed of potatoes. Now, I'm gonna put the tomatoes on the potatoes. There we go. Excellent work. Now for the fun part, the filling. That looks good to me. Looks great. Now, the cheese. Just sprinkle some of that on top. Maybe extra on mine. There you go, the red one's yours. Excellent. Now to put their hats back on. Back to the oven, still at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, this time baking for 45 minutes. Last step, find an animal you love and award them with a ribbon or some kind of trophy. Here are our completed stuffed bell peppers, completely and utterly finished. Finished? Well, yes, we finished the recipe. Could I add something? Well, what are you going to add? Oh. We used all the ingredients, so I... What? A pepper person. <laughs> Adding googly eyes doesn't pepper. make it a person. With pepper friends! He's got pepper well, friends! Oh, they've known each other since kindergarten. Really? They're best friends. Their How parents would you know are that? also friends. Oh, their but, families are lovely. Look at I them! Lily. <laughs> Wanna don't... hang out later after school? Yeah, I would love to. Let's hang out in the city. They hang Wait. out downtown with Look at, look at, look at, look at this. When did you have time to make all it. of this, Lily? Oh, he, he lives pretty He's far away, which is kind of sad. But I you know what? They sad. all find time to hang out with I each mean, other yes, because well, they're best pals. That's oh, lovely, look at but, them. And they've got a government. But, the city's got a government. But Lily, they pay taxes. these aren't to play with. Oh, they they're going to eat them. A cucumber car. Eat them? Well, yes. That's why we made them. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. My family. Lily. My family will miss. Oh. Well, where are you going? Well, this has been Super Chef's Cookery for Kids. I'm Dr. Greg. Uh, that was Lily. If you like this video, we have more like it on our channel, as well as... No, Lily! Lily. Oh.